All right, good morning, y'all. <clears throat> we are finally back out here. We had a, we was gone away at CatCon. <clears throat> uh, we had a lot of rain that come down, so this river was messed up. <laughs> as soon as I got back, it was up, running high, had a bunch of trash floating down it. Well, <clears throat> and then the other days, uh, I think it was like Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, I mean, the wind was so high, was so high out here, you know, coming from the north, that it would have just made it almost impossible to fish anywhere I wanted to fish. So here it is later in the week that I wanted to be out fishing, but we're out here fishing. Well, we're gonna catch, we're gonna try to catch some bait. So the uh, the water temps have been hovering right around that area where uh, I kind of want to start using white bass again. But I, I went and I caught a bunch of skipjack yesterday. So we're good on that, we got bait. But I wanna come up here and try to catch a couple white bass. And then I'm gonna go over a couple of little rigs that I use to catch them. They should be, I mean, they're running right now. They're, they're pretty thick, a lot of people are catching them. I like using them when the water temp, uh, you know, will start introducing them on my, on my rods whenever water temp gets in about the mid 50s. Now we did have a cold spell last night, so it's gonna take a little bit for these water temps to recover from that. So I figure about midday, but I'm gonna get up here to my favorite little bait point and uh, see if we can't catch. I just wanna catch a couple, That's, I don't need many. I don't think it's gonna be, be the preferred bait, but I do wanna catch some and, and go over how I, how I fish it, you know, early in the year like this, uh, because you just gotta kinda of play with it. Uh, just like, you know, when I stopped using shad, you know, it, it took a couple trips, but when I was running shad and skipjack side by side, and then the one trip, I caught nothing but fish, or I caught all my fish on nothing but skipjack, and I didn't even touch the shad, so. And, and of course, that, that varies. That varies on where you're at, too. Uh, you know, depending on your water temps, you know, uh, things like that, what's running at the time. But for me, at this part of the river, we have a very short window for shad, um, which I'll go into more of that a little bit later once we get uh, once we get set up. But I'm going to pull up this point here, see if I can't catch me a couple white bass real quick. I kind of see them up there. First bait we're going to start out with is I think I've, I went over this before. If I can get it untangled, is a uh, these are what these are what we call blade baits. So they're just a, I mean you could you could buy these. I make these. I buy the blades, and then I pour the lead, and then I put the hooks and all the hardware on them. It's just again one of them little things that you can do to make things just a little bit cheaper. And I do believe that's a big school of them right there. So we'll we'll run this around see if we can't catch us. It, I, two two good sized ones would be, would be great. All right, we'll try something else real quick. Like I said, I might have to go to the other spot up there, which that's fine too. <clears throat> the other thing that I use, this is something new that I got not too long ago. Looks like a little, we would call them striper, striper jigs. It's kind of cool looking. I haven't used it yet. I had these given to me to try, so what better way to try it? So I think what I'll probably do one, loose up this magnetic drag, but just kind of let it hit the bottom. Just kind of work it up, I guess. Let it hit the bottom. It has a fall fast rate, so, or a fast fall rate, I mean. So them old white bass, well, they're, they're triggered by a lot of quick movements. All right. Let's see what we can do here. This is always, this has usually been a pretty good spot. Like I said, we'll see what we can't do here. This is usually a spot where this old grub shines. So, cause they get, they get stacked up in this little creek mouth here. I'm hoping they're stacked up in there now.
There's a white bass. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Look at that dude. He is perfect for what I'm looking for. Let me get one more just like him. Like I said, this spot's always been pretty good for... I doubt. Get my hook back. Yep, this spot's always been good for one of these. I just need one more, and we will go fishing. Cool, there's a good one. All right, y'all. All right, we finally got set up. We found some structure. We're set up on a tree. It's kind of the same pattern that I've had for a little while now. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put out two pieces of skipjack. And then I'm gonna take one of them white bass I just caught and we gonna fillet them up. gonna flame up we're gonna get us a... don't flop these dang things they got them sharp gill plates so i need to <laughs> wear my glove when i flay this one oh, there's another catfish guy i bet that's i'm gonna get some nothing like some fresh White bass fillet. That should give me. That should give me two good pieces. Put the rest of them in there. Let's go on up. See if we can't set up on another piece and see what happens. He had it the whole time. <laughs> he had it the whole time. He's not a bad one either. Yeah, he had it the whole time. Is this another flathead? I think it is another flathead. Just down there swimming around with it. I'm just slowly watching that bait. I think this is another flathead. Heck yeah, come right out of that tree. Just pick it up, just swimming around with that eight ounce weight. Nothing wrong with that. Heck yeah, it's gotta be another flathead. It's on this big white bass head. On this big white bass head. I, I guarantee it's a flathead. <laughs> well, maybe they're uh <clears throat> Maybe they're waking up to these old white bass. This has got to be a flathead. <laughs> it is. He's not a monster, but it is a flathead though. <laughs> he sure fought bigger than what he actually is, but that was on that big white bass head. Let me get him in the net. Yeah, he sure fought bigger than what he actually is. <laughs> I like it old flathead boy. Start off the day. Come here, buddy. Come here. 
Well, that was, that was on that big white bass head. That huge white bass head. Come on, buddy. Come on up here. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Let's get you in this net. Heck yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, he's no monster. <laughs> Come here, buddy. He was just, I just watched that old rod tip. Just all it was doing, I just watched it just, just doing this. And he was swimming up river with it in his mouth. Dragging it all down eight ounce weight. Now that is cool. That's a good way to start the day for sure. Had him right behind the tooth patch and everything. Of course, I lost my head, but had him right behind the tooth patch. <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good way to start the day for sure. Heck yeah. Let me get a picture of him. All right, let's get the release. <laughs> One more time. I just love flatheads, man. I just love them. That, in fact, he had a big white bass head. And he's the first fish of the day. Gotta love it. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Heck yeah. I'll take that any day of the week. I was looking, looking a little sad there for a while. Been hopping from spot to spot. Nothing but a bunch of little bites. And then that dude comes along. That is awesome. Well, I've seen what appear to be fish down there, so we're gonna we're gonna come up here and try this. We're in a little bit more current, but it's we kind of we kind of got a there's a point right up here, and it it looks like just by the contour lines that it's we're kind of sitting where the, all the silt and I guess sand or whatever that flows down it kind of like piles up right here. And I seen some fish right on the back side of it. So we'll give it a shot. Worst case, we don't catch anything. We're, we're getting pretty good at that right now. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting pretty good at not catching anything right now. Now we'll toss out one piece of white bass. That's all I got left. Okay, he's got it. <laughs> he's got it. Yes, he was swimming to me, but little fish. <laughs> but at least he hit it. Little fish though. That may have been that may have been what I saw down there, just some little fish. Boy, he smacked that big head though. I say big, it wasn't that big, but What's up, little dude? Yeah. What is up, little dude? Give me my head back. Yeah, you are definitely not what I'm after, but I appreciate you playing. Toss that old head right back down there. <laughs> that even, ain't even got the good out of it yet. All right, let's go do some searching. What we are currently doing is not working. So let's go find some, I'm gonna go around this point here. And see if we can't find us some more stuff to sit on. Cause this is definitely not working.
All right, y'all. This is another little, that's a little something different. Uh, we got a, we're on the, we got a point, underwater point that comes, we're kind of sitting right on top of it because it dumps off back this way. I've seen a lot of activity on the back side of this. So we'll see. <clears throat> like I said, these, uh, these fish have been locked jaw all day. And I think I, that flathead I caught, I may have just threw it right in front of his face. But it's kind of a, like I said, we got the point where we're going to be fishing off the back side of this little underwater point. And then it has a hole that's kind of right behind us as well. And so we're just going to see. I scanned it. I seen some fish. They look like a bunch of little fish. But we'll see. finally hooked yeah that little one's finally hooked <laughs> well he's not that little <laughs> I was say, cause something been playing with it for a while I don't think it's this one I think this one just came along and found it but He's, he's not a big one. But he is still a fish. <laughs> oh man, I don't, like I said, I, I don't think he's the one that's been playing with it, but he's definitely the one that ate it. Come here, buddy. Well, I appreciate you, man. It has been tough pickings today, buddy. Well, come here. Where are you going? Come here. Man, you're just a big old headed male. You done got me all kinds of twit. How did you do that? I'll have to fix that here in a minute. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Where are your bigger family members at, bud? Where are they at? God, you weren't going anywhere. Yeah, not a bad one. It's the big old, big old male. Well, big old headed male. You can see that. Alrighty, I appreciate it. Come out of that shallow water. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm not real sure how he did all this. He didn't get the leader line wrapped <laughs> he's got it i don't know how that happened but it's wrapped inside the snap what what how did he get it wrapped inside the snap Y'all ain't kidding you, it is inside the snap here. What is this GoPro? I could show you a lot better, but I don't, I can't get it to zoom in. Now that beats everything I've ever saw. <laughs> okay, I got that out. Ooh, boy, it's all chewed up now. That is all chewed up now. I don't, I guess he, I don't know. I guess he was down there twirling or doing something. But that is going to have to be replaced for sure. It's all chewed up right here where he had it inside there. But that's okay. I prepare these exact situations I'm sure most of y'all do this I always pre-tie leaders that way I gotta sit out here and try to do all this stuff on the boat all I gotta do is just 
get one out. But if uh, you're looking for little storage ideas for these, I just use little Ziploc bags. That's all I use. I just kind of, you know, I'll tie like 10 or so, then I'll just kind of wrap them with each other, slide them in there, then zip it. You know, take your time pulling them out, obviously. <clears throat> but that usually does the trick. Let's get some rods out. So I like about this spot, we have fished here before, <clears throat> but what I really like about this spot is it's just a sloping mud bank that it dumps off into the channel here, which then turns into another little flat that it dumps off to the, the main channel there. So, <clears throat> pretty neat little spot. Certain times it's a, it's a killer spot because they're up here feeding. Bigger later in the day, that's why I was kind of waiting for this spot for the you know later part of the day. Never know, might find one cruising around up here somewhere. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> Oh, not a big one. <clears throat> but well, they really deceive you when they take it down slow like that, though, and just kind of play with it. He was actually swimming towards the boat with it. <sighs> not a big one. That's all right. On a day like today, get out of that line. Get out of that line. I will take them. That's about what I marked. This size here is about what I marked back there. But you just never know. There may be, you know, a big one laying there on the bottom. You know. So I, like I always say, when you when you see active fish, you fish them. You just don't ever know what's down there. Well. It's interesting, they're all coming off heads though too. I've most of my bites today have been on heads. That flathead come off that white bass head. The last few fish have come off skipjack heads. Interesting. <clears throat> well, I surely appreciate it. Boy, if I was needing fish for a fish fry, I would be good to go today. Thank you, sir. There you go. Since there's absolutely nothing wrong with his head, I'll just hook him to the other nostril and we will get him back out there. All right, we are gonna slip up just a little bit further. That's gonna be our last spot. Caught a couple little ones here, that's okay. All right, so this spot here I marked absolutely nothing. A few little, what looks like fish maybe, but uh, but that's not the reason why I chose it. Because it's kind of a, a straight stretch that comes down the river here, but then it, all the current blows that way. And that's that little, you know, inside bend more or less. But what this is, just where kind of the, the point where I'm assuming over the years of all this stuff building up, it's just a little bit shallower here, and then it gets really shallow here, then it's a real nice drop off to about probably 40 foot of water, which is about right over there. So sometimes, sometimes uh, we'll have fish that'll sit right on the edge of this where there's current, you know, cause we got kind of a, a back eddy com coming off this bank here. So we'll see. So basically what I'm saying is I am literally trying everything today to try to catch a big fish. <laughs> so we'll sit here. This is the last spot of the day. I just want to throw some baits out. We'll sit here about 45 minutes, see what happens. If nothing happens, then uh, I guess we'll have to figure them out next time. But like I said, I had absolutely every intentions of not really catching a whole lot today because of the, that real big swing in the uh, temperature. And you're going to have that. I mean, but then again, if I wouldn't have came out here, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have caught the flathead. So. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad y'all seen that. I dang sure wasn't paying attention. That's a little bit better fish. Yeah, I'm glad y'all seen that. Cause I sure didn't. A little bit better fish here. Now we got some current too, so I'm not gonna say much. So like I said, when I scanned this spot, it was absolutely nothing on the bottom. No structure, no no rocks, no nothing. It's just, and sometimes these fish will hang out, these bigger fish will hang out right there at the very bottom. I don't know how big he is, but he's probably the biggest of the day so far. I'm sitting there replying to messages on Facebook. <laughs> I probably ought to be paying attention to these rods. Oh yeah. You say we got some good current, so I'm not gonna but he's I think he's gonna be bigger, the biggest fish of the day. Oh yeah, God I love it when they do that. And this was on a skipjack head. That is very interesting. There's the bubbles. Guys, well, he's not quite that big, but he sure felt bigger. But like I said, the current, you know, it's just hard to say. Yeah, I'm sitting there replying to Facebook messages, and I should be watching my rods. It's not a bad one. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Come on over here, buddy. I don't know if I may. Yeah, let me get the net on him. I don't... He's about borderline me trying to lift him with that leader line. But he is never too small for the net. Come here, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, like I said, there's quite a bit of current here, so it was kind of hard to tell. Oh, man. He's still, he's still a good fish. <laughs> a little bit better than I gave him credit for, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit better than I gave him credit for. Just, I mean, behind all, all of the tooth patch. Just how I like it. Well, buddy, you are also borderline glove worthy. Let me just go on ahead and do it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's not a bad one. And dang, he's in the 30s. Real close to it. Look how long that fish is, y'all. <laughs> well, let me get the dang camera turn. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, look at, look at how long that fish is. Not as fat as the rest of them have been. But just a good looking fish though. I appreciate it. I really do. That's a good way to good way to cap off the day right there. Actually, let me get a picture of you. Let me get a picture of this guy. Alright, got my picture. Well thank you. Well, you think you're a female. You look more like a female, but thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, it's a good way to cap the day. Thank you. And down she goes. Oh, man. Like I said, I'm glad y'all seen that. 
I was too busy playing with my phone. There he goes. I can see him. I was too busy playing with my phone. All I could hear was a, the line getting tied across the current. <laughs> That's awesome. But like I said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll recap here in a second because we are going to pack it up and go. Yeah, we are going to pack it up and go. But anyway, like I said, when I come across this spot, there was absolutely nothing there. Nothing. I didn't really see any activity. I didn't see nothing. So, based on my experience, that will tell me, eh, okay, so is it is it a is it a high percentage area? Not really, based off of the other stuff that I fish, but is there potentially fish there? Absolutely. Um, because I've caught fish on spots just like that, where there was really nothing to show. I mean, nothing to see, nothing really going on, no structure, no rock pile, no point, no nothing. I'm just fishing a little bit of a, it's a straight, it's just a straight ledge is all it is. And it, and it, then it bends back this way. And all I caught there was, you know, some small ones, had some, had some little bites, but I've had that all day. Uh, <clears throat> So, I mean, bites just been tough and, and it, it probably was really good say like yesterday, uh, before we had this, this cold spell come in because we're, our water temps were almost 57 degrees prior to, well, I say late yesterday and last night when I got here this morning, they were 52 degrees. So like I've said in previous videos, that big, that, that big drop like that. It just sends these bigger fish into shock and they just won't eat. <clears throat> you know, I was very fortunate to catch that flathead first thing this morning. And that, you know, to me, I was kind of like, you know, if that's the first fish of the day, I mean, it's gotta, it's gotta get better, you know, but it's all right. Like I said, before I left the house this morning, I, I completely expected the bite that I got today. But then again, you know, you never know till you come out here and try it. Uh, that's why I'm real thankful. You know, like I said, I caught that, that flathead and, you know, of course caught that fish. We caught three decent fish today. The rest of them were, you know, dinks and stuff, but still fun. Still fun to, to know that, you know, whatever I was doing was sort of kind of working. But on the other hand, I know that I could go anywhere on this water and find, you know, them fish about yay long. I could find them anywhere. They're everywhere. I don't really think the temperature change like that really messes with them a whole lot anyway. But... Yeah, all in all, it's a good day. A uh, little bit of stuff I went over. I know it wasn't a whole lot. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on that I could pinpoint this is what I was doing. But uh, I know that I think tomorrow, well, the next few days, uh, well, tomorrow it's supposed to rain a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get back out on Saturday. But, man, all next week it's supposed to rain again, like all week. So it's going to mess up this river again. So these fish just ain't going to know what to do. And gonna have to come out here and relearn them all over again but but like always you know I, I'm, I'm glad y'all came along with this one i really am uh you know this it's days like today is why you know i made that post a while back about some days the bite's not on fire some days i'm not gonna be able to produce you know 40 50 pound fish it's just it's just part of the you know it's part of fishing and, uh, and it's, it's gonna happen like that but there's some things that you know little things that i do throughout the day that i, I do believe will benefit some of y'all at some point so that's why i want to i want to make videos you know what i mean you know kind of pinpointing that so i guess based off of everything that i did today i did fish structure early uh, i did pull that one flat help structure uh, i did you know i moved around to underwater points you know pulled a decent fish off of that and then like i said here is absolutely nothing it's it, there's nothing on the graph there's no distinguishing features or nothing on the map nothing it's just a straight straight shot of a ledge that goes down before it bends, you know, and it paid off one fish, you know, whatever, uh, you know, and as the water gets better, the water temperatures get better, a place like this, you could actually sit here and catch, you know, eight, nine, 10 fish. Cause I've done it and well, a little bit further up, but I've done it. So it's just little things like that to keep in mind. It, you know, it doesn't always have to be a, a specific piece of structure or a point or something like that, but Again, with all that being said, I appreciate you watching this one, and I'll catch you on the next one.